I just want to address the notion that this doesn't impact the, the middle class, and a lot of my colleagues have previously addressed this, so I'm not going to go into very much detail. Uh, but in regards to the sales tax, uh, you know, the average Connecticut resident, they buy goods and services here in the state of Connecticut, or at least we hope they do. And so with looking at the sales tax, yeah, the rate is going down, but that's all smoke and mirrors because with the exemptions lifted coupled with the rate going down, there's a significant increase in sales tax revenue, which is a nice way of saying that we're significantly e increasing the sales tax upon our average residents here in the state. Um, and so that has to be noted, and, and that's going to significantly impact the, the middle class. The, the other aspect is, is the business entity tax, and I understand that we're cutting that rate in half here in this particular plan, but it should be noted that the governor's plan had completely uh, eliminated the business entity tax, and, and in the Republican alternative budget could completely eliminate the business tax entity tax as well. Um, $125 every two years may seem very innocuous to all of us, but at the end of the day, that is money back in the hands of middle class small business owners, which is quite ubiquitous in my district. That's money back and food back on the table of small business owners and the middle class here in this state that we're taking away from them. Uh, and that needs to be noted. And, and I'm not even going to go into the corporation uh, cha tax changes that we're making that could significantly impact the jobs of the middle class in this state as well. So that is the reason, among many reasons that have current, uh, previously been addressed, that I will be voting no. And I thank you for your time and your work on this, Mr. Chairman.